Welcome back to Tonight in San Diego. Our live studio audience will be winning prizes like this. We have two tickets to see the Squirrel Nut Zippers at the Belly Up Tavern August 31st. If you want to win prizes like this, just get your tickets at tonightinsandiego.com or check us out on social media. Go to Twitter or Instagram, post something, and hashtag it Tonight in San Diego. Our next guest we have been so excited about all week, co-creators and uh, husband and wife partner team, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Kevin and Courtney Eastman. Welcome, Eastman. So, so cool to have you guys on the show. The, the whole crew has been excited about it. I mean, look I'm at Keith. I'm never washing this hand again. He's never washing it. He can't even see, and he's, he's operating at... I was born in the 80s, and I have a heart. What can I say? <laughs> so, co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and now you guys work together on new projects. Um, just so excited to have you on because a lot of us kind of grew up loving the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And, you know, when I'm preparing for something like this, the first question that really comes to mind is like, how the hell did you come up with that? Like, wh <laughs> what, my, like what kind of acid w was going on when you thought Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Let's do it. Well, back in those days, I couldn't even afford it or anything else interesting. Um, but no, it was... Uh, so I bath guess. salts or something? Something cheaper? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but it's, it's, honestly, it's, it's hard to believe uh, it's been 32 years that the turtle's been around. And, uh, you know, usually, you know, we do a lot of shows together. Um, uh, a lot of tours meet the fans. And the first thing I do is uh, point it out to the fans. I wouldn't have the greatest job in the world if it weren't for all you guys. It's all your fault. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, we have a, a great gig. So, so then, you, what you're saying is they came up with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? They, yes. The, some kids Wait. in our neighborhood came up with it, and we stole the idea and then buried them in a shell. No, we didn't. Okay. So. Like, ton, uh, like uh, tonight, uh, San Diego tonight, sort of. Anyway, so, um, so you came up with this idea. I mean, did you ever expect it would be this cultural phenomenon that, that it would just blow up the way it did? I mean... How could you, how could you, it's such a different thing than normal comic books. It, you know, it was, I mean, what, you know, um, I grew up, uh, Peter Laird, the co-creator of the Ninja Turtles, grew up as a huge fan of uh, Jack Kirby. You know, that was both our childhood dream is to be Jack Kirby when we grew up. And when we, you know, got rejection letter after rejection letter after rejection letter, we just said, look, um, there's a lot of independent publishing going on. Why don't we just come up with our own idea? publish it ourselves, and even if we don't sell one single copy, you know, we've still created something we love. We're living in the world that we love so much. We're just telling stories in comic book form. So, uh, and Courtney, were you always a fan of Teenage Because I noticed, by the way, I have a copy that you are on the cover of this one. This is you, right? Right on this? I don't know <laughs> if people can see this, but... It's the character Renette from the original comic books that Kevin brought back and, uh, and remodeled. And that is based on you? Yours truly, yes. Well, see, besides, you know, she's, she's an actress, she's a model, but she's a trained ninja. So not only are we partners in business, she's my bodyguard as well. So like, She's a trained ninja in real life. She's in real life. So, we yeah. are doing martial arts. So, yes. <laughs> is that right? Yes. You had to train just for the comic book to yeah. do martial arts. <laughs> so now that you guys work together, I mean, I... I'm lucky, my girlfriend works on this show with me, mm. and it's my favorite thing, but like, some people ask about that. What's it like working together? Um, what is, what's your experience now? You guys are partners, really. I've been that way since the day we met, actually, um, and I just started managing all the conventions that we do, and I book all the shows and kind of run that side of the business, and um, it's nice that we have our studio um, and office at home. Um, so we're kind of together 24-7, which is, kind of rare with a lot of people, um, yeah. but it works for us. It works great. No, it's, it's, it's fantastic. It's like, she does all the work. I just show up and be nice to everybody. And you know, it's like, okay, that's like and, me and Pete. Yeah. Same thing. We do the same so, thing. But yeah, no, we I have mean, a great, yeah. We wait, have, which is the one that just shows up? That's just me. That's just, showing up. <laughs> that's what I do. I just show up. Um, oh. so, yeah. so, so, not really. But, so the other thing was that you were telling me upstairs that you had a comic, there's a comic gallery that I, I had never heard of, but I'm a big comic book fan. Uh, like you, I'm from the East Coast. I actually wanted to be a comic book artist when I grew up. My, I worked 
briefly as an anchor with, with another anchor in my neighborhood when I was a kid, when I told my mother that I was in this basement with this guy, that was the end of that. She, was, she put an <laughs> end to that. Little. She's like, no, no, no more comic books. But I, my, my question is, like, you, you're from the East Coast. How did you decide to stay in San Diego? Did you come to the Comic-Con and realize, like, this is an awesome place? It is an awesome place, and actually, you know, this year at Comic-Con will be my 32nd year of going to Comic-Con. Cool. Um, and it was one of those things that every year I'd come here, and it's, just, it's a beautiful city full of, you know, creativity and art, and it's, you know, the, you know, for the longest time, and I think it still is the biggest comic convention in the States. And every year I'd come here and go, why don't I live here? And then when Courtney and I got married, we have a 10-year-old son, and uh, um, we had the opportunity, we started working with IDW Publishing, which is a homegrown San Diego-based business, comic book business. That's this on here, IDW. So that is a San Diego, yes. San Diego publishing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Ted Adams and uh, Robbie Robbins, some of the original co-founders of IDW, and they've had the business here. It's coming up on 20 years. Um, they publish, you know, besides Ninja, Ninja Turtles, you know, Transformers, G.I. Joe, Star Trek, and a lot of in original creator projects. Um, and so they invited us to come down and, and uh, work with them on the new Ninja Turtle series. At the same time, they were relocating their offices, and part of the component of moving into Liberty Station at Point Loma was uh, to have a gallery space. And so Courtney and I helped curate, co-curate, put together comic book shows uh, at, this, at this gallery. Uh, it's been open a year as of this month, and you know you guys have to come see it. It's fantastic. It's just well, a whole that's celebration. A, that's a museum for me, right? A comic yeah. book museum. They, they should gallery. change the name from IDW to My Childhood. <laughs> My Childhood Comics. Keith's yeah. Childhood Comics. Um, so, so you have been involved in a lot of different projects from Heavy Metal Magazine mm -hmm. and all these other things. What is the next uh, step for you? You're, you're revitalizing, bringing the Ninja Turtles back uh, to comic books. Well, it, yeah, that was, that's been you know the last five, actually coming up on five years, isn't it? Yeah, we've been working with IDW and uh, the new line of comic books, but my real passion is um, I got killed in a, in a, in a uh, Dust Till Dawn movie. I am the pizza delivery guy in the New Turtles movie. You I, were killed in From Dust Till Dawn? Yeah, in the second, in the second season. She was, too. Actually, it, was, <laughs> it was really fun. Um, Robert Rodriguez wrote a little scene for her, and we showed up in Austin, and he actually... Um, she showed up to do the scene, and he said, well, I wrote you a part, too. And so we both got our throats ripped out in the season finale of <laughs> Dust Till Dawn. That's but cool. uh, No, but, um, so, but mainly it's, you know, I'm here to do um, some original projects with IDW besides the ongoing Turtle series, which I love. I mean, again, I can't believe it's 32 years I'm still writing and drawing turtles and making a living, and, and living here in San Diego is, you know, dream come true. I mean, it's amazing. You know, to prepare for this, uh, my friend Kyle and I did a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles drinking game <laughs> to one of the movies, and uh, Where were we, why, where we had to drink any time there was a splinter sighting, or a, or a shredder, or a ninja, or a turtle, or a teenager, or a mutant, or anything. So I don't remember how that movie ended, but, uh, <laughs> but I just remember us dancing to Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go, uh, by the great Vanilla Ice. And uh, I, my, my one question I had for you was, do you have a favorite turtle? Courtney, do you have a favorite ninja turtle? Does, I'm partial to Mikey because we're friends with uh, Greg Mikey, Seip. that's the first name <laughs> basis. Mikey. 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 Mikey Langelo. Yeah, no, Greg, uh, Greg Sipes is the voice uh, of the animated series. Okay. And he's a good friend of ours, and he, he doesn't act. Um, he is Mikey. He's he literally this guy. Mikey. He is Mikey. Yeah. He's literally a real-life Michelangelo. I met him, and he does. He voices Michelangelo in the Nickelodeon show, like Courtney said. And mm -hmm. first time we met him, it's like... This must be the easiest gig ever because you do no he acting. Loves it. It's no just acting. like no, yeah. but he's you, fantastic. What about you, Keith? You got a favorite turtle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're you're asking me to Sophie's Choice the turtles in front of one of the <laughs> creators? <laughs> I could tell you like that. My favorite, I, I think, is is, uh, is does Megan Fox count as a turtle? I'm not sure. <laughs> and those are they actually look those turtle thumbs. I'm not sure if that's but um, but anyway, so. Where, I should just leave you with, with this one last question. Where did you get Cowabunga from? That became a huge thing, and <laughs> I was always curious where you came up with the name, Cow, or with the, the, the slang word Cowabunga. We literally, we stole it from, uh, remember the old uh, Annette Furnicello, Frankie Avalon, Beach Blanket, Bingo movies, like all these surfing surf movies. Like yeah. a surfer movie. Okay. I grew up on the East Coast, and it was the weirdest thing. This cable channel out of Boston would broadcast these you know, festivals, these monster movies, uh, martial arts movies, or these beach, you know, surfer movies that I've, what the heck is this? Yeah. But they used to be Hang Ten, Hey Dude, Cowabunga, and you know, if you have Teenage Mutant Turtle, teenage pizza mutant eating, server, what surfer. kind of battle cry are they gonna have is, you know, Cowabunga. 
That was, I love you know, that. It's, it's, it's silly. We have, well, thank we you have so much, much fun, for coming so. on the show. Really appreciate it. It was Absolute so fantastic pleasure. to meet you. We have about 4,000 things for you to sign upstairs, so if you could do that, that'd be great. And uh, where can people catch you? What's the next thing uh, where they can find you and check out more stuff from you guys? Uh, KevinEastmanStudios.com has all of our uh, tour dates that we do, and he has, all of, he has two projects coming out this year. Uh, Los Angeles, and he already remastered Fistful of Blood that you can go check out at any comic book store. Um, lots of fun stuff. That's yes. fantastic. Yes. Give it up for Team Eastman, everybody. <laughs> Courtney Eastman, Kevin Eastman. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. It was so nice to meet you guys.